one issue was this issue of settler violence, uh, which is not really discussed within Israeli society. And what I saw through my view from the operations room was time and again how acts of violence against Palestinians are just under rug swept and, um, and covered up by the military that doesn't enforce the law on violent settlers. So the fact that you're in that you're occupying Palestinian territory, that's the root of the problem? There cannot be an occupation that will be moral or that you know, will conduct itself in a good way. It's the, you know, the problem is inherent in, in the mission, and the mission is occupying people without, without them having rights and dignity and without them be, you know, choosing to be under this uh, control. You've witnessed abuses then, or you've witnessed things you're unhappy with. Have you been a part of that yourself and that you reflected on afterwards? I've g gotten orders and given orders to my own soldiers that I later uh, regretted. I'll give you an example of something very systematic. Um, there were a couple of times where my commanders gave us a box of flashbang grenades, um, and they just told us to start throwing them out of the driving car. Um, when I asked why, they told us to make the Palestinians understand who owns this place. Did you feel that you're being, that the officers and the Israeli army were asking you to do something that you obviously felt really uncomfortable with, but you were not in a position to say no? when you was in the army? I think that for the most cases, I did feel comfortable with what I was doing, and that's because I was convinced that it was for the security of Israel. Now, what we do in Breaking the Silence is ask questions far beyond just security, like what is the moral price for that security? Is that the kind of security we want to live with as a society? Now, I know um, that that isn't what I want my society to be doing, um, and I know that it that the occupation isn't justified in any moral terms. Um, so from my own experiences, I know that this occupation needs to end. I know that it has nothing to do with the morality we expect from ourselves. Finally, um, is that likely to happen, the occupation ends? Because from, from the outside, at least, and when you listen to Palestinians, they feel that the politics and society in Israel is becoming more and more right-wing. Inevitably, it will end because, like all other you know, oppressive regimes and undemocratic regimes, they fail to sustain, you know, be sustainable. And, and I think deeply, as long as Palestinians don't have security, we're not going to have security uh, as well.